Hello, my name is uh, Okert van Skalkwerk. I'm from South Africa and I'm a lead uh, engineer at Entidad, which is a US-based company. Um, I'd first like to tell you a bit about my company. Uh, so our uh, mission statement is serving the underserved. So our vision is to develop digital services, service ecosystems that address the plight of farm workers. And um, there you see the co-founding team. Um, that's uh, Jorge, Yesu, and uh, Rene. And we come from the same communities we hope to serve. So we draw upon this unique perspective to build solutions for nonprofits that bridge uh, access to resources for underserved individuals. And there's various organizations that we work for. For example, the United Farm Workers, Bienestar, Cierto, and there's literally hundreds of farm worker organizations that serve as a safety net, a lifeline uh, to their communities. And um, to help farm workers, we already have a, a solution, uh, Preparese. Uh, it's just a decentralized identity infrastructure that lets nonprofits connect with farm workers and verify their information at a lower cost in order to get the resources to the people that need it. And we use verifiable credentials to facilitate these interactions. Um, and exchange the sensitive information. So one of the services that's offered in Alivio is, um, in, in Preparese is Alivio, and it's used by eight organizations to process and distribute $80 million of um, United States Department of Agriculture pandemic relief to over 120,000 um, farm workers. And um, we recently started working with the Open Wallet Foundation, and, you know the Open Wallet Foundation. It's a collaborative effort designed to support interoperability between digital wallets to open source software. And um, we've contributed to Farm Worker Wallet OS, which is a low code wallet project using ARIS um, framework JavaScript for building SSI agents and DITCOM services. And our contribution fits into the foundation's mission and provides potential to meet the uh, unfulfilled need allowing citizen developers to work with self-sovereign identity within low-code environments. So we're essentially end developers using um, Ares Framework JavaScript and uh, we're interested in creating a module for our low-code platform uh, to, get, to um, get other uh, people who are using low-code platforms um, to contribute and um, to bring things to market faster. Um, so for the Farm Worker OS demo, we have a, a, a project. We have a couple of features, which is connecting agents and receiving credentials and presenting proofs and generating connection invites and a DITCOM chat and a custom questionnaire protocol. And um, I'll demonstrate some of this to you. Here you see a couple of screens. Then we can go on to the uh, demonstration. Um, so for testing, we'll use the BCGov um, Digital Trust Showcase and we'll use Persona Alice. And um, we already have a, our agent here on the right hand side. Um, and uh, we'll use that. Um, so we can create a new agent configuration. You can have multiple configurations and they're stored in the, uh, in the key store, all this configuration. And you can set up the ledgers and the, um, the mediator using the Animo mediator. And we can start the agent. The first step is uh, connecting um, the best BC college. We'll get our credential uh, with some information about the credential claims. And then we can use that credential in a, these hypothetical scenarios. The first one is um, getting a discount at a closed store. So we can connect to the closed store.
and present our credential here with a um, predicate a student card expiry date later than this date here. So that concludes that um, scenario and then also for this scenario uh, we want to book a study room so we'll connect with the study room and then we'll, we'll present an uh, attribute from our student card, which is the first name. So then also we can um, see that there's a couple of connections here and a credential. And we can also demonstrate the DITCOM chat. For that I have two devices. And we'll create a, a new agent for this. And the size as, as well. So then we can create a connection invitation, scan that, establish a connection between these two agents, so here you can see the connections between the agents, and this is the DITCOM messaging. And then also um, for the questionnaire module, we can set up a questionnaire and add, add a question. send that questionnaire to this, um, this side, answer it, and then you can see uh, the answer. So we're very interested in wallets for our purposes because uh, it really serves a need for um, verifying people's identity and ensuring that um, the resources that uh, people, certain people need actually get in the, in the appropriate hands and that there's no um, sort of shenanigans happening there. Um, and that uh, concludes the demonstration. Thank you. So if there's any further questions. Yeah, are there any questions in the room? I've got a couple of them. Okay. Um, so you're saying that the the um, the framework, the wallet OS, is based on on, on Ditcom and so on. Um, I guess it's based on areas, other areas projects. Yes. Can you shed some light on what areas projects your project is built on? Uh, we're using Aries framework JavaScript, basically the stock functionality. There's so much functionality um, in that project that we're satisfied with that, and they have a way of um, 
extending it with their own custom protocols. As of the version 4, they made things a lot easier. Um, registering an agent, is, it's more modular and it really works well. Thank you. And another question, what are your plans for the future? So what do you wanna, how do you want to evolve your project and are you looking for yeah, so contributors? Right, we are uh, looking for contributors and it's a, it's a low-code platform that we're using, which is Mendix. Um, we're using it in the way that we're using it, but it's a sort of a corporate tool um, used a lot by um, banks, governments and so forth. So I think there's a lot of people in the Mendix community that would be interested in um, the sort of features of a digital wallet and uh, all the... So, do I frame it correctly that um, with your projects you leverage the functionality that is in areas into the low-code platform, making Correct, development yes. of solutions yes. easier? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ocker. Thank you.